Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we've been watching this area down across the Bay of Campeche, southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Big flare-up of convection through the uh, overnight hours and into early this morning. Hurricane Center has gone ahead and started advisories on this. And this has now been classified as potential tropical cyclone number 16. That's that new designation. It hasn't quite reached the tropical depression status but it's expected to and just because of the proximity to land and the effects that it could be bringing they go ahead and they start issuing those advisories so right now winds are only at 35 miles an hour is drifting to the north at 8 currently located at 22.4 95.7 degrees west now as we go through the next couple of days you see that forecast drag basically moving towards the north and the east. It is expected to become either a subtropical or a tropical storm. And the next name on the list is Nestor. So what we could be talking about as we go through Friday evening heading into uh, Saturday morning is a landfalling tropical storm up across the uh, panhandle. And what that will end up doing is just bringing a lot of rain across central Florida. That's going to be our biggest problem. Just a lot of rain, some gusty winds from time to time as we go through Saturday. Computer models, uh, pretty good agreement. You always have those outliers, but you're seeing a fair amount of agreement basically across the central to the western side of the panhandle. And uh, already we have the uh, warrant watches and the warnings out. We have a tropical storm watch throughout much of the western panhandle and then a tropical storm uh, watch, which extends down uh, all the way to Yankee Town. So you look at the European and the GFS model, really some pretty good agreement among these models right now. You see in the GFS, uh, maybe a little bit faster and a little bit more towards the east, but still fairly good agreement uh, with these models from run to run over the past couple of runs. And then basically just works its way up into southern Georgia and then just continues to race on towards the north and east. So we're going to continue to watch this and let you know all the different effects that we expect to see as we go through the next couple of days. And we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.